Hello folks, it's Curtis from Yeti Auto Detail. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I effectively wash, clay, and polish to remove light swirls and hazing in this paint in the direct sunlight. So first and foremost, before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as well as clicking that notification icon so you don't miss any of the fresh new content. Holy crap, it's been a few days since I've posted. Man, oh man, I'm sorry about this. Uh, it's been hectic with work and stuff like that with clients and all that. So I've had minimal time. Today I had a kind of an off day, so I figured I'd come out here. I, this is my brand new truck. Uh, it's not brand, brand new, but it's new to me. And it's got some light swirls and hazing along the paint and stuff like that. Looks like it's had a lifetime of tunnel washes and maybe some cotton towel drying as well. I'll bring you in, I'll show you the shots. I'll show you how I effectively wash a vehicle in the direct sunlight, minimizing water spots and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and I'll bring you in and I'll show you exactly what I'm looking at. All right, folks, so as you can see, all of this swirls, we got some scratches and stuff like that. We're gonna try to hit it and get, at, get those out of it as best we can. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking to get this paint cleared up, make it clear, crystal clear, kind of pop a little bit better. It is a nice color. It's kind of a metallic charcoal gray. So I'm just going to be doing the bed right now just for video purposes. I'm going to do the rest of it, but I just wanted to bring you in and show you kind of how I effectively wash and polish in direct sunlight the products that I use. First product I'm going to be using is Optimum No Rinse. All right, so this is marked clay lube on my bottle. However, I've made it pretty strong. I've put about a cap full into this 32 ounce bottle. So it's going to work as a good, um, a good rinseless wash. The panel itself is not heavily soiled. So that's where this, this rinseless wash is going to come into play a little bit easier, right? Uh, if it was completely muddy and filthy, I would not do this. All right. Uh, I would go into the full foam cannon, two bucket wash method, all that good stuff. But in today's uh, video, as you can see, it's just got some light soiling water or light soiling. So we'll go ahead and use the wa waterless wash to rinse it off. All right, so I'm also going to have two towels. These are the uh, Rag Company Edgeless Creature towels. Uh, I believe they're 300 GSM. They work perfect for paint, polish removal, stuff like that. They're edgeless, so they minimize scratching. You've probably seen me use them in other vehicles or videos. This is my go-to for paint work. I don't use them on the interior or anything like that. So we're going to set one up there for drying and we'll use this one for washing. All right. Now I'm going to use the, uh, the high pile or the, the long nap for the washing and I'll use the short nap for the drying. We'll soak up all that water. The rinseless wash solution. All right, here we go. We're just going to simply spray the panel down. Oh, I love the smell of that. Don't be afraid of it. Use, use quite a bit. We're going to be generous with it. And we're just going to simply wipe the panel down completely. Straight lines, lifting that dirt, and washing it away. Once that's done, I'm going to dry it off. move to the next section. Now I'm going to fold this towel. I use this side. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use this side on the next section. We're going to do the four square method. And we're just going to work in sections, right? With the heat, you can see the steam rise in this panel is super hot to the touch. This is not ideal. This is not what you want to do on a regular basis, but if you're a mobile detailer, you sometimes don't have the option of dealing with out of direct sunlight, unless your client has a garage or you have a canopy, which I have, I don't have a canopy and most of my clients have garages, but they are full. I have to come up with ways to wash in direct sunlight. Lift, just lift. And as you can see, it's getting nice and black. So we're gonna flip it. We're gonna lift all of this stuff off. Just like 
like so. Nice and black. So I'm flip to a side. It's clean. I'm gonna do it one more time. So lift all that dirt. Dry it off. Backside, real quick. Pardon the airplane, folks. As you know, I live by an airport and it is a nice sunny day, so they are out in full force flying. All right, moving right along. Now, as I mentioned before, I use Optimum No Rinse. This is my clay lube bottle. We're going to go ahead and clay the panel. I don't know how long ago it was clayed, but as I run my hand across it, whew, it's hot, but I can feel some light contamination in there, so we're going to lift that out using the clay bar. Now the clay bar I'm choosing to use today is Meguiar Speed Clay. You can get it at O'Reilly's, AutoZone, all those other places. Uh, what I like about it is, is it's nice and malleable, right? So we're going to get a nice size piece, we're going to just fold it out. Spray it down, get it wet, get the panel wet. And we're gonna add a little bit more because it's gonna dry faster than we can clay, so we wanna keep it nice and lubricated. We're just gonna go lightly over the panel and pick up where we may be able to pick up. Not too bad. It's, it's not terrible. Definitely less than what I figured it would be. Again, with this being new to me, I do not know the last time it was clayed. Bought it from a deal dealership. I can tell you right now, the light swirls and hazing I'm seeing in the paint tells me that it hasn't been professionally detailed. And if it has, same on that professional detail. We're going to fold it, get us a new side, spray that down, and go again. I'm not picking up too much. Usually you'd feel the clay bar dragging as it picks up, but it's not even down on the lower parts where you'd think it'd be dirty, it's not. So that's telling me it's good. I'm gonna hit this side. And clay this up. Nice and easy. That's about all I've picked up off of this panel. All right, we'll go back over it and wipe it down. A dry rag. Get a lot of that clay lube off, rinseless wash, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it. Get that off. All right, now. Moving right along, we're going to panel prep it. So I like to use 50-50 IPA. I've got 75% IPA mixed with one-to-one, uh, -one, basically, in the water. Now there's a lot of, uh, I don't know, premonitions about IPA, clear coat and stuff like that. I personally have never ran into an issue using this before. I do sometimes use Dupacolor wax and paint remover. I don't have any right now. I ran out. So I'm using the 50-50 mix of IPA and distilled water. All right, we're just gonna spray it down and wipe it in. This is gonna get fingerprints, anything that's left on that paint completely off. And you gotta work quickly with this because it does flash very quickly. That alcohol evaporates rather quickly. Now we're gonna do this twice. 
I'm going to hit it this time, and then after I polish it, I'm going to do it again before we put our sealant on. Alright, so now we're, we're clean, we're set up, we're ready to go ahead and polish. Alrighty folks, so I have here my Max Shine M15 millimeter long throw DA polisher. I have a Lake Country HDO uh, medium cut pad. I'm also going to be using, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, but Coke Kimmy Micro Cut M3.02. Now this has the ability to remove light swirls, uh, light scratches and stuff like that and finish out very nicely and it's sunlight friendly. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I do apologize if the video cuts out for any reason. It's because the sun is shining directly on my phone. It's getting overheated. So we're gonna work around that as best I can. And uh, the wonderful powers of video editing, you probably won't even notice it. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna apply four small pea-sized drops. Now, the key to polishing or any type of paint correction in direct sunlight is working small spots, all right? So we're gonna do this small spot right here first, then I'll move down. I'll probably cut this right here into three sections. I'll work my way down to the bottom and then we'll move all the way down doing that motion, all right? I'm gonna work at slightly faster speeds, but more uh, section passes, all right? I don't want this product sitting and drying onto the paint. It shouldn't because again, it's, it's sunlight friendly, but I don't want to risk that, all right? I'll blot it out. It helps if I plug my polish in. I'm gonna blot it out, and we're gonna start. Swipe off and see what we're working with. Super easy to wipe off. I can tell you right now that made that paint pop. Made that paint pop. That's what exactly we're looking for. All right, we were able to get most of the uh, the light scratches out. It didn't go after the deeper ones, but that's okay. That's not what I'm looking for today. I'm looking to get those light scratches out so it doesn't look like buffer trails down the, uh, the side of it. So we're going to go ahead and move along. And I'm just going to go straight down. I'm going to work this upper section first, and then I'll drop down and work the lower section. Open it up, Curtis. Okay, right, let's wipe it off, see what we're looking with, working with. I apologize, I was gonna do the whole thing in the video, but again, my uh, camera decided it wasn't going to like the sunlight. So now I've got it all completely polished. I'm gonna go in and protect it. So the protectant I'm gonna use today, this Turtle Wax has ice seal and shine. Now this is the improved formula, all right? It's supposed to have better durability, smells completely different. If you can remember the older Turtle Wax ice seal and shine of last year, it smelled really strong. This has more of the mango scent, kind of like uh, their ceramic hybrid, uh, hybrid ceramic spray and all of that. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to put it on. We're going to look at the glass. We're going to see how well it can make this paint pop. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So the key I found is wiping it in with one cloth, 
and polishing it out with another. All right. So you want to mist, mist it onto the rag, right? One to two squirts per panel. That's it. That's all you need. You don't need to go buck wild on this. Uh, get it massaged in. And like I said, I can tell you right now, it smells absolutely delicious. Almost like a mangoey grape smell, if that is even a smell. And it makes the paint incredibly, incredibly slick. All right. Again, I'm just going in sections. That way, I'm not chasing sunlight. I have to be conscious of that, be conscious of the temperature of the paint. One to two squirts per section. That's all you need. All right, folks, mirror, finish, mirror, mirror. Let's see if we can't get the sunlight in there. Oh yeah, much better, much better. Camera can't even, can't even focus on it. Much better. Effectively removed all of that swirling, all of that hazing off the side of this truck. All right, next up is gonna be the front half. It's in a little worse condition, so. I'm going to be driving around for a little bit with a shiny side on the bed of my truck. That's okay. That's okay. I just wanted to bring you guys in and show you this. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I'll drop all the links to this, uh, the products down below in the description. So uh, yeah, like I said, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of this new Turtle Wax Ice Seal and Shine? That Coke Kimmy Microcut? Working really good with direct sunlight. So yeah, as always, we'll go from there.